always found myself conforming to society standards of how a person should look, and I realized there is nothing more boring than that. Hello queens, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing a really important video from my girls. This is going to be episode three to get it together, sis. Now, I know there's times where we all feel like we're in a little bit of a funk, we're just not feeling ourselves, we feel like we're really extra basic. I actually was feeling like this last week and I don't know if it was because it was finals week. I wasn't really tending to my hair and my makeup. I was a hot ass mess, okay? I wrote down a list of things that I want to do, that I want to get, that I want to purchase to make myself go from basic to baddie to just absolute queen status. I wanted to do this video for you guys because I know there are times where you guys just don't feel your hottest, your best. And I wanted to make this little disclaimer. This is not for my negative Nancy's to say, let's get some self-love. Why don't you put some self-love in your system and love yourself from within? Girl, I do. But it's normal to sometimes feel like you don't really feel your best and you're just not really happy with your image. You want to like redesign your whole closet, your life, your hair, your makeup, everything. Please do not forget to subscribe down below if you guys want to see some more videos from me. That would mean the absolute world to me, of course. Follow me on Instagram. I'll put it right here on the screen. I always let you guys know what I'm going to post. And if you follow me, comment on one of my newest posts and I will spam your account, okay? And give this video a big thumbs up and let's just get into the video. Okay, so the first thing that I wrote down in my notes that has to do with going from basic to baddie is switching up your hairstyles. As you guys can see, this is my signature gray hair. And before I actually did this wig, I used to do the most basic, blandest, most ugliest hairstyles. It would always just be and like nothing ever was like a power move. Like, hello, I'm here, I'm ready to take over. And when I got this wig, I was so nervous to make that statement and like try different colors. And ever since I've done it, it has been the absolute best thing that I've done for my image. Now that I've had this wig for almost over a year now, I need to switch it up. So I'm probably gonna do like blue or pink or orange or something along those lines. If you guys want a tip of advice from me, it would be to please switch up your hair. You do not have to spend top dollar to make your hair different. I actually found online that there are girls in my area who do really beautiful high ponies or half up half down looks with tracks in the back for like less than $100. So you don't even have to spend top dollar to get your hair switched up. So I'm probably going to book an appointment like now, nails. I did a whole video about feet and your nail polish, but I never really actually talked about my fingernails. So, a little background about me, I only did nude, French, white, or gray. Bore in the house, nobody cares about any of those colors, and I'm not saying that neutrals aren't cute. They are cute a lot of the times, but when you do a bold color and you switch it up, you're just not a basic bitch. You're out there taking risks, you're showing everybody like, hey, I'm not one of those girls you think that you're gonna expect something from. You're never gonna know what I'm gonna do next. So, I have always gotten my nails done by the same person for years, and I've always gotten like these basic nails where they're just like a color, and I wanna switch it up, get some designs, get some cool little nail art, and I feel like, my nails are looking amazing and I'm going out and my hair is not done, my makeup isn't on, and I don't got lashes on, and I don't got a cute outfit. At least my nails is looking fly. Step number three in getting onto that baddie status and getting rid of that basic status is to invest in some very useful but cute products. Moisturizers, exfoliants, body polishes, electric toothbrushes, sheet masks, but they really take your skincare, your body care, your health, anything that it is to the next level. Don't have the most basic tooth brush is not going to encourage you to brush your teeth for two minutes. Turn the things that you use in everyday use around and make them more fun to use. Don't settle for like the crappy moisturizers and the crappy sheet masks and not investing in good body washes. Make your hygiene routine and your body care routine fun. Not everything has to be expensive. I get a lot of my cute stuff from Target so I wanted to kind of include this in the video and once you guys do this you guys are going to find that hygiene routine, taking care of yourself is going to be more fun. Eventually, that's gonna take you from basic to not so basic. Okay, so this is a kind of a weird one, but I think it's something to be said when you want to kind of figure out like who you are, what's your like theme, what's your trend that you're into. I know a lot of girls that love like that Sade look, like they do that baby hairs, they do the jean jackets, they do the slicked back hair and the braids, and they just look really dope. For me, like I don't really think that that look looks good on me, so I kind of sat down, thought about it, and I said, okay, what's my vibe, what's my trend, what am I into, and I figured, Okay, the best way to describe my taste is Trap Bay meets Malibu Barbie. Sounds crazy, I know, it's kind of 
cuckoo, but I love it because I've always been attracted to like the Elle Woods and like the um, girl from Clueless and then I also have been kind of attracted to like Rihanna's image and any like a rapper like Nicki Minaj or the City Girls. So I want to take two of those girls and kind of smash them together and combine it and make it like Trap Bay meets Malibu Barbie and I just think it is so bad, it's so chic. In that being said, once I figured that out, now I have to shop, get my hair done, my lashes, to kind of resemble that trend that I'm into. Honestly, be yourself, be what you want, and even though to some people they'd say, girl, you're not Malibu Barbie meets Trap Bay, you basic. Yes, I was yesterday, but bitch, I'm gonna be it today. Splurge on shopping trips. This is something that I constantly have to tell my friends, my mom, my sister, anybody, because I feel like a lot of people rather spend $300 on food than they do on their clothes. Trust me, I've been there, I love food too, trust me. I really do think investing in your image and investing in what you look like and how you feel is so much more important than what's going inside your mouth because eating is inevitable, you're gonna eat anyway, you do not need to spend top dollar on food when you can spend top dollar on some brand new clothes. Take your ass shopping at least once a season, you can go fall, winter, spring, summer, you don't have to go all the time, but splurge on yourself and Invest in the things that fit the image and the trends that you want to emulate. This is something that I never, ever, ever did, and it was to buy jewelry. I used to think that jewelry was a waste of money, it was stupid, it didn't really add that much to an outfit, and that is just not true. Getting rings, bracelets, necklaces, earrings, it's amazing. Um, the necklace I'm wearing right now was actually a gift, but I think it was under $100. I've gotten the necklaces that you guys see me wear all the time. I got those for under $20, which is great. The earrings I'm wearing now were also under $20 from Macy's. I just feel like adding like that extra oomph to your like outfit so that when you wear a basic top and some basic pants, that you're at least in drip. Okay, so don't let anybody fool you and tell you jewelry is expensive because it just ain't girl, it just ain't. When taking a photo, treat it like a photo shoot. This is a weird thing to bring up, but if you want your feed, your Instagram to be more lively, more baddie status, more feeling amazing, take the picture in a setting or a time frame where you are not in a constraint where you need to like rush to get out so you can only take like two photos. Take your time, treat it like a photo shoot, do a couple different moves, change your settings on your camera or on your phone, it doesn't matter. Change up the lightings, see what works for you. Once you do this, your photos are gonna come out better, you're gonna start looking better, you're gonna feel better, and everybody can pretty much be envious of your beautiful photos. I need to work on this. I love taking photos in time constraints. I'll just take a photo really quick right before I go out and that's why my feed looks ass as hell. So I'm gonna work on this, y'all will see. My feed is about to be looking real good. Invest in a bra that makes your boobs look amazing. This was something I never, ever, ever did, which you guys are gonna realize in this video, most of these things I never did. That's why I wrote them down of things that I need to do more of. Invest in a bra that is worth your money. I found that I used to wear bras that were either A, too small for me or B, too big for me. Stupid, I don't understand. So I went to Victoria's Secret, got sized, got the proper bra, it made my boobs sit real nice and now I'm happy. So go to Victoria's Secret, go to Kohl's, go to Target, go try on some bras, see what fits you and you're gonna realize that in all your cute clothes you're gonna look that much cuter because your boobs are gonna look nice and everything's just gonna be sitting, honey. Also, to add to that, Underwear is something that you should invest in as well. Take all your underwear that you've had for like 10 plus years, throw it in the garbage today. It is not that expensive to start over your underwear collection. Victoria's Secret has sales all the time. I just saw when I was there the other day that they had like eight for $25. Do something about it. Get rid of all those ugly, dingy ass undies and start over. Get some cute panties. Like you deserve it. You really do. Okay, so one of my favorite things ever, which is actually where you guys are right now is my silk bonnet. So when you have wigs or even your natural hair, you want to have a cute little silk bonnet that you wear at night. This is going to protect your wigs, your edges. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know about a silk bonnet and probably already wear one, but buying new ones, keeping yourself updated on some cute little ones that don't end up slipping off your head. Cause me, I had mine for so long that it ended up slipping off my head at night. So invest in some cute bonnets and your hair will be good in the morning. You'll be able to take it down and your hair will look like pretty much like this and you'll be so happy that you don't have to style it. Um, I need to work on that. Okay, so another step is to get some sexy, feel good workout clothes that are gonna make you just wanna work out and wanna take pictures in your workout clothes and just feel really good about yourself. I found when I was working out in 
baggy t-shirts and baggy sweatpants all the time that I just didn't feel my best. I didn't want to work out. When you go to work out, especially if you're going to a gym, invest in some workout clothes. Gymshark has some really cute ones. Nike Pro, Adidas, Allo Yoga. These are all companies that have some very cute workout clothes. They are an investment, but if you're planning on working out a lot, I would suggest to buy them. They look super cute on, and you guys are just gonna realize you're gonna feel more excited to work out. You're gonna wanna be working out all the time and you're gonna wanna take pictures and show off your clothes and show off your butt because you know, leggings make your butt look nice. It's just going to make you feel that much better. So definitely take the time, save up your coins and invest in some cute workout clothes. And last but not least on how to be a baddie and stop being basic is to switch it up. Being in routine, not doing anything different with your body, with your hair, with anything is just boring. So something that I did last year was I actually got three tattoos on the same day. They're very tiny. There are two on my fingers and one on my foot, but I found that I was always trying to plan everything strategically and then I never ended up doing it. And I found that when I switch it up quickly and I just say, you know what, fuck it, let me do this, let me do this, that I'm actually so happy about the outcome because I just went with the flow and just was being a baddie. And a lot of baddies, they just, they do things on a whim. They do things for fun. You need to stop being so uptight and like, I don't do any of that. I don't wear orange wigs. I don't wear blue hair. I don't do tattoos. They're whack. Like just stop being so negative all the time. Like switch it up, be cute, have a different look on, you know, style and fashion and switching it up and kind of roll with the time. So like if everybody's doing this, don't be so judgy of it. Maybe try to put your own spin on it so that you like it. That's kind of something that I learned to do and I found myself being so much happier with the way I came out and like my image and everything. So I wanted to give that to you guys as well. Those are pretty much all my tips on how to not be basic. Guys, you guys are gonna see in the next couple weeks, like I'm about to step out of my comfort zone. I'm about to do some crazy things, get some cute clothes. Like I know sometimes I'm very, very, very basic. That's why I needed to make this video because this is my reminder to myself. Stop it. If you guys have any tips down below, leave them for how to not be basic, what you guys do to make yourself look glowing and fabulous, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.